The following portion of Daytime Blue Ridge is sponsored by... Well, many of us Fitbit users here are all forgetting our steps each day, but when it comes to your home staircase, it's likely more about function than beauty or fun. But here are some fun DIY ideas for adding some extra style to your stairs. We have MKB Realtor Amanda Ostrander. Welcome back, Amanda. Hi, happy to be here. I know you're busy this season, for yes. sure. But this is a really fun thing, because a lot of people struggle with their stairs. What do you do? with it do you decorate the wall do you decorate yeah. the stairs but you have some really fun kind of DIY ideas yes. and this is not just to add a little style it can also add value it can add value you know if you're not if it's too bold for the foyer and right when you walk in I really imagine this to the finished attic or to the basement stairs mm -hmm. just to give your home a little bit more character for a really good price yeah and character really can add just a couple extra bucks to a home when it, people really feel like they're at yes. home there yes um, so what's one of the ideas first one was a clever use of a floor Runner. Okay, so when you can't find that stair runner or mm -hmm. the designer stair runners are just out of your price range, getting a couple um, eclectic pieces mm -hmm. of just regular floor mats um, are great. It takes a little precision yeah. to make it look seamless, sure. but it's fun, funky, funky, and safe if you have kids and yeah. put a little bit carpet on that staircase. Well, it's a little bit customizable because you can really find what you love. Exactly. Um, and the second one was um, an eclectic look with real tile, and I love this one. Yes, you, you can't ever go wrong with with tile it's extremely durable um, and it's really just good for hard-working staircases mm -hmm. um, alternating the patterns but kind of keeping the the colors uh, and complementary the sure. and I love um, how that looks it just looks but it must have been so easy. <laughs> yes. Uh, well, um, the alternative to that is our third option, which okay. is the stencil. Yes. Um, that is a lot more affordable. Mm -hmm. um, black and white is classic. You can't go wrong with it, but you also don't want to make your guests and yourselves dizzy. So I like Ooh. how they're doing it right here at the Every Other. Okay. Yes, yes. Yeah, that's a good point, a yes. dizzy, because black and white patterns really can kind of throw you for a loop. Yes. Especially when you're walking down the stairs, and we don't want that. Yeah. So we've talked about this before. The housing market here in our area, and really, across the country is yes. crazy. In fact, one of the homes you were featuring today is already off the market. Yes, yes. That's crazy. 501 Moran Avenue. It's in Salem. It, we listed at 159950 Had four offers within the first day mm -hmm. at asking price or higher. Absolutely. And it, yes. it's a beautiful home, so people can kind of see yes. what you guys are showcasing. And you said it just went on the market Thursday. Oh, yeah. Thursday. Oh, yeah. So uh, what is going on with this housing market? You know, there's just certain price points where people are looking, they've met with their loan officers, they're ready to go. The second the ones that they're looking for hit the market, you're not the only one looking in that range. Absolutely. And so agents are working really hard. They are, um, you know, it, it's a race to the mm -hmm. house the second that they hit the MLS. And we have one more to yes. feature that is still for sale. Yes. Per, uh, it's presented by Curtis Burchett. So yes. tell us about this one. Actually, I grew up in this area. I grew up just a couple oh. streets. It's over. I love the Grand and Court, Raleigh Court area. I'm super partial to Grand and Village. Mm -hmm. Just the walkability to restaurants, the the Greenway, movie theaters, the co-op. This home, rocking chair front, uh, rocking chair oh, front porch, and a swing. All brick, hardwood floors throughout, nine foot ceilings, updated kitchen, um, fenced in backyard. Great for privacy. A little breakfast nook. Oh, Who doesn't that. love a breakfast yeah. nook? Um, I really like a gas uh, range. Mm. They have that here. Huge bedrooms. Sure. Um, and and that is kind of rare for Raleigh Court okay. and a really good feature. Um, they have a screened in porch right off the back. I love um, that. Asking 244 888. Okay, and it, reach out to Curtis yes. Burchett there, 354 6323 if you're interested. And of course, if anyone is interested in yes. getting in on this house hunt, how can they get in touch with you? 540 655 3496 or AmandaOstrander.com.